Carolina is making progress on expanding rural broadband, broadband access. That's according to state leaders who say they plan to distribute another $180 million by the end of the year to get more homes in the state internet access. Here's Zoe Henry. On Monday, the South Carolina Broadband Office gave an update on its work to get more people in rural areas internet access. We've created internet access for 100,000 homes in South Carolina and it's happened in in one year since we opened the broadband office. So it's pretty amazing. This shows when the broadband office first opened in September 2021. Internet access is shown in green. This is what it looks like today. South Carolina set aside $490 million for this expansion. Eastover in Richland County is an area that had limited broadband access before this program launched last year. It was very spotty, very difficult to get any kind of service out here. That's Russell Floyd, and he says he just got access to affordable internet in November of last year. We got it good now, fiber optic cable. His service came from one of the electric co-ops. The broadband office plans to expand the same opportunities to other rural areas still in the cyber dark. Um, providing internet access, we call, is just the first step of the equation. To actually help residents and citizens sign up for service is what we call adoption. There's a lot of work to be done there. The first step towards more accessibility in the state is spending $180 million by December of this year. In Eastover, Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. Well, the state broadband office has a link on its website for people in need of broadband access. And there are several efforts to make high-speed internet more accessible in rural areas. Last month, Tri-County Electric completed a project to install fiber optic cable throughout their service area. That means all of their 18,000 members will have access to high-speed internet. Most of these members live in rural areas. We're being told, too, that the project was completed ahead of schedule. Federal money is also being used to help fund broadband access across the state. Earlier this year, the Catawba Indian Nation received a federal grant of more than $900,000. That money will provide free or reduced cost broadband service to 1,700 Native American tribal households in Rock Hill.